Can I tell you that so many content creators when they get started are so worried that it's gonna fail. But the difference between the people that are succeeding and the people that do not start is the point of starting. Like they succeed because they just kept going. It's a new year full of new opportunities and new possibilities and maybe a new YouTube channel. But if you've been hesitant to getting started, this is the podcast for you. If you've been a part of the Think Media community and you've maybe been watching some of our YouTube videos or listening to the podcast, but you haven't made the leap to actually starting, I hope that this message encourages you. My name is Heather Torres, and I am the host of the Think Media Podcast, the number one podcast to help you grow your influence on YouTube and then turn that influence into a high income and a high impact online business. I am so fired up because we are kicking off the year here at Think Media with our free five-day YouTube 1K challenge. Now, this challenge is going to help you learn how to get to your first 1,000 subscribers and earn your first $1,000 on YouTube. We're gonna be breaking it down over five whole days of free content just for you to help you kickstart your year. You can register at tube1kchallenge.com. Now, if you're brand new to this podcast, I want to welcome you. Welcome to the Think Media family. You can subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or you can subscribe wherever you're listening to this content on. We deliver a brand new fresh podcast to you every single Tuesday as well as bonus episodes that happen over on our YouTube channel and some episodes hit the podcast on the listening app. So make sure you are following us all over the web to get all of the current conversations we have here on the podcast. Now, I remember several years ago when I was first starting my YouTube channel, and I can tell you that the girl you see sitting here right now or listening to on this audio was not the girl a few years ago. I was so scared when it came to actually starting my YouTube channel. I actually didn't even think I was worthy enough to put content out on YouTube. Now, I had been working behind the camera for several years in the digital marketing space, but I was actually too scared to press record. I waited three years before I put my first video out online. That was three years of thinking about it, contemplating, learning about the different pieces about video. But every single time I wanted to press record, I let fear hold me back. And so today I'm going to be breaking down some of the things I had to do to push through the fear, to face everything and rise so that I could get to the point I am today where I can sit down and make content. Well, I'll mess up a hundred times while I'm recording this. I still can get in front of the camera with so much more ease. And so I want to just use this opportunity today at the beginning of this year where you and I are just having a conversation where I can be one of your best friends, just speaking life into you and helping you get started. Because I can tell you that on the other side of your comfort zone, on the other side of you worrying about what other people are going to think, on the other side of you stepping out in faith and actually doing the thing, there's going to be success on that side. And while it's going to be hard and while there may be trials and why you might feel like, gosh, is this for me? I can tell you that through perseverance, through dedication, through actually putting in the work, you will see your YouTube channel start to grow. So let's break down three ways or three tips that I have for you, three things I had to do to actually get started on YouTube. Now, my first one, it may seem simple, and actually all of these tips might seem like, Heather, okay, I know these, but I just need to reiterate them to you. I need you to hear them again if you heard them last year or two years ago or three years ago, because I'm hoping that this time is the time that you take action. I hope that this time as you're hearing this, as you as you hear me telling you these three very simple things to do that I had to put into place, that it will be the catalyst for you actually taking action. So number one, I need you to make a plan. I need you to make a plan. I know it sounds crazy and and the plan might start with, I need to film my YouTube channel this Friday or I need to film my YouTube video this Friday. Maybe the plan is I want to get my camera ready. 
And I know that sounds like really, really simple, but even if you're filming on your smartphone, maybe you're filming on your iPad, maybe you're filming with the camera that your husband got you for Christmas this year because you said you wanted to start YouTube. Maybe the plan is you need to start understanding the gear that you're going to use. Now, if you have a smartphone and you've been making TikTok videos or reels, or you've been filming your kids' soccer games, you already know how to use a camera. So I hope that I can eliminate the fear that you quote unquote don't know how. Let's make a plan and get yourself started. So here's a couple of things that I had to write down when I started my YouTube channel. What do I need to learn this year to make this a reality? What do you need to learn this year? Like I said, maybe it's the gear. Maybe you need to understand like, okay, I, I need to actually stand in front of the window, not with, but with the window behind me. Like that's something you should learn. Maybe I need to learn like where should the lapel microphone go if that's what you're using. Maybe you need to learn like what setting looks good, like what background looks good. How should I make the lighting look good? Maybe that's what you need to learn. Or maybe something you need to learn is like, how do I actually just get over my fears? How do I get and gain confidence? Maybe you need to put down watching things like Yellowstone or The Crown, and you need to pick up a good book by, you know, John Maxwell or Lisa Revere. Like maybe you need to actually be feeding yourself with things that are gonna inspire you rather than filling yourself with things that may not help you get to your goals. And I want to step on your toes. I like The Crown. I, I haven't watched Yellowstone yet, but I'm excited to. But that's not maybe where you need to be right now. If you want to do something new, you've got to try something new. If you want to do something different, you've got to change what you've been doing. So I want you to get out a piece of paper. I want you to get out a pen. And I want you to write down what do you need to learn this year? In some future episodes that we have coming up here on the podcast, we're going to be pulling back the curtain and sharing a little bit about what we do here at Think Media, how we prepare ourselves, how we prepare our team, and really what our themes are for the year. And one of the things that we challenged each of our team members with is what are you going to do to be at your best? What do you need to learn this year? And the second part of making a plan is when are you going to make time? Now, if you know anything about Heather Torres or Think Media, you know that time management is something that has literally changed my life. I know it sounds crazy. You're like, really, Heather, a calendar changed your life? Yes, because when you start putting your priorities first, when you start putting your dreams first, when you start putting on the calendar the things that you're committing to yourself, you'll start to see change happen. You know, I really think that like, show me your calendar and I'll show you where your priorities are. You don't have a calendar? Okay, what are we doing with your life? We need to get a calendar. We need to start understanding what are we doing with the precious minutes that we have? Can I tell you that tomorrow is not promised? That today is a day that you can take action. So when you look back six months from now and you're like, nothing's changed, well, did you actually put in the work? When are you making time to do the thing? I know you might be working a full-time job. I know you might have kids at home. I know you might be caring for maybe an elderly parent or, or maybe you have more than one job. But can I tell you that there are still minutes in your day that you can be devoting to your future. If you're just going through every single day the same and not actually making progress, then please don't look at me a year from now and say, Heather, I don't know what happened. I'm telling you, every minute matters. So when are you going to do this? And then lastly, in the make a plan, what is your education plan? I am a huge proponent of books. It could be audiobooks, It could be books that you're actually physically reading. But I want to challenge you that if you have not opened up a book in the last year, this is your year. This is the year that you're going to get back into learning. Now, as a homeschool mom, I can tell you that, I, that, that people actually don't read books after high school. Actually, a, a study was done that over 60% of people after college never read a book again. What, what are we doing? We need to be in a learning stage. So I wanna challenge you that if you've not picked up a book, what's your first book? Now here at Think Media, we actually did our favorite books that you can read. So I'll make sure to link that as a resource down below because we'll offer you some of the best books that have really helped us in things like leadership, in marketing, in understanding YouTube, in personal growth and development, and for me, the Bible. So I want you to be picking up a book this year and on your plan, deciding what am I going to read? 
Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I actually have dyslexia. And so reading has been something that I've struggled with my entire life. And so I figured out that audiobooks were my thing. And did you know that you don't even have to buy audiobooks? You can get audiobooks for free from your local library. Every library has them. You just have to download the app on your phone or on your tablet or on your computer, and you can get free audiobooks online. So I'm breaking down the barrier of actually getting started when it comes to making your plan. Number two, I want you to have a goal. And when I say have a goal, I hope that the goal doesn't have to do with artificial numbers, right? I know that it'd be great to say, well, my goal is to get to 100,000 views or my goal is to get to you know $10,000 in my business. But I really want you when you're starting your YouTube channel to think about the goal of being in the action, not in the result. And that is a mindset shift when it comes to doing YouTube. That's a mindset shift when it comes to uh, uh, how we kind of operate in the world. Everything is determined by a number. And, and while inside of our free YouTube challenge, we're gonna teach you how to get to a thousand subscribers, we're gonna lay it out for you. I want you to write down your personal action goal, meaning how many videos do you plan to get out this year? How many posts do you plan to put out on your community tab? How many hours do you plan on spending inside of the community returning comments or being involved in different Facebook groups online? How many hours, how many outputs do you plan to put in to making this happen? Can I tell you a secret about YouTube? The secret to growing on YouTube is posting videos on YouTube. I know it sounds crazy, but really in order to grow a YouTube channel, you have to be planting. You have to actually put effort in. You have to grow your channel. And while there are magical unicorns out there who are able to post one video and get a million views, that's not 99.9% .9 of people starting on the platform. You have to put in the work to learn how to do this to over time start to grow your channel. And we're gonna teach you the steps of how to do that, but I want you to actually have a goal. I recommend your goal be 52 videos this year. That's one video per week. That's all you have to do to start to grow your channel. Now, the goal next year could be another 52 videos. And then in two years, you'll have 100 videos in your YouTube library. Imagine what that's gonna be like, the day when you have 100 videos in your YouTube library. Imagine the people's lives that are gonna be changed when you have 52 videos out this year. Imagine what it's gonna do for your own self-confidence when you step outside of your comfort zone and get in front of the camera. Imagine what it's gonna be like when a brand reaches out to you or you start working with a company or you start getting AdSense and money is hitting your bank account because of the effort you put in on YouTube. This is possible, my friend. You just have to make a plan and have a goal. And then lastly, I want you to write this down. I will not let fear hold me back. I know it sounds hard but fear is going to get in the way. It's gonna be the thing that's gonna stop you. Maybe you feel like this. I'm not good enough to do this, Heather. I, I actually, I don't feel skilled enough to do this. What do I even have to offer to the people on the internet? Can I tell you that you have experiences in life? You probably already know exactly the things that have helped you move through this life that can help other people. Maybe you're already skilled in a certain area. Uh, maybe you have a degree in something, or maybe you've just been working at a skill for a long time and people wanna learn how to do that. You are good enough for this. And actually, no one has to give you permission to even get started. You have to give yourself permission to mess up in public. I know it sounds harsh, but really it is about messing up in public. Your first videos, they're gonna be your worst videos. I know mine are. When I look back at some of my first videos, my voice is up high, I'm, I'm scared like crazy, deer in the headlights looking at the camera. I stumbled over my words a thousand times. It took me like 10 hours to edit my first video. I didn't even wanna publish it because I thought people are gonna laugh at this. I mean, who am I to be posting on the internet? Can I tell you the coolest thing that's happened? I have moms that come up to me now crying because they say your videos unleash something in our family. 
your videos about, about homeschooling, about just what your day looks like, about the curriculum that you're using, helped our kids understand that learning is fun. I can tell you that these are messy videos, but they are used to help people. And that's what you can do. You're good enough for this. You don't need permission to do this. You can start today. After you listen to this podcast, you can grab your camera and you can make your first video. Maybe you think, well, it's not gonna be good enough. Maybe you're already a professional. I see this happen a lot in people who are very successful in something already. Maybe you're a doctor or a lawyer or a real estate agent or a hairdresser and you've already established yourself in this career and you're starting something new. Can I tell you that it's gonna be such a great humbling experience to be at the beginning again. You're gonna have so much humility again for those people who are coming into your career field that are starting out fresh. And can I tell you that your experience that you already have in one thing is gonna help you accelerate in this thing as well. It's gonna be okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know what you need to bring to it? Yourself. Bring all of you, bring your expertise, bring your funny jokes, bring your seriousness, whatever that is, it's going to be okay. It does not have to be perfect. You just have to make progress. And then number three, you might be thinking, well, I'm not really gonna start because what if it fails? What if it fails? What if I put myself out there? What if I put hours into it? What if I'm working on the weekends on this thing and it doesn't really go anywhere? What if I tell all my friends or I tell all my colleagues or I tell all my family that this is the new thing that I'm doing and then it doesn't work? I wanna turn that around for you this year. I want you to think about this. What if it succeeds? I mean, if we thought about that, like why are we going to the negative right away? Why don't we look to the positive? Think about all of the skills you're going to learn in the process. Think about the, the, the willingness that you're going to have to push through those uh, icky feelings of like, this is scary, I don't know what I'm doing, the self-confidence that you're going to get on the other side of actually doing it. Can I tell you that so many content creators, when they get started, are so worried that it's going to fail. But the difference between the people that are succeeding and the people that do not start is the point of starting. Like they succeed because they just kept going. My friend Ben Azani always says, you gotta suck, suck, suck to get to success. What if this succeeds? Imagine what it's going to be like on the other side of a year of dedication to this. Imagine what it's gonna be like when you can turn to your kids and say, mom was scared. I didn't know what I was doing, but I started something and you can too. What if it succeeds? You know, so many times I hear people and they go, well, I'm not good enough for this. I can't do that. I don't really have the things. And this year, one of the things that I want you to do that I had to do when I first got, when I first started, I had to change what I was saying to myself. Instead of saying, I can't, I can. Instead of saying, I'm not, I am. I can do this. I can figure this out. I can learn something new. I can, I can make a video. Instead of saying, I'm not, I'm not good enough for this. I'm not an expert in this. I'm not someone who people are gonna listen to. How about declaring good things over yourself? I am smart. I am confident. I am a mess, but I can share my message. How about I don't? I don't have the resources for that. I don't know the right people. I don't even know how to do that. You are connected to us here at Think Media. So you know how to do this. You don't need the resources. You already have it. It's not about the resources. It's about the resourcefulness. And you can figure this out. You are smart. You are capable. You are connected to a company that is willing to help you for free. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channels, watch the videos that are coming out, learn from the experts like Sean Cannell, Omar Altakori, Nolan Molt, Tony Ariola, Melissa Caputo, Heather Torres. We've got a team of creators that are here to help you on your journey. If you wanna go deeper with us, we have options to do that as well, but we are here to serve. We are here to help. We want you to win. So when it comes to 2022, 
When it comes to you starting your YouTube channel, I'm gonna be your cheerleader. I'm gonna be here for you every single week showing up on this Think Media podcast to encourage you, to help you, to give you the tools you need to succeed on YouTube. But you gotta take the step. You have to make action happen. You have to take these three things and put them into practice in your life. So I hope that this encouraged you. I know this was fiery, Heather, but I'm ready for this year. I am so expectant for all that is going to happen for you this year. We're just getting started. YouTube is just getting started. It's not too late to start. And you have a whole team behind you ready for you to win. Well, I hope that that was an encouraging message for you. I hope that you are going to take action and get started. Let me know if you're listening on YouTube, what is your YouTube plan? Write it out, declare it, let us all know so we can root you on and be your supporter. Now, if you are listening over on Apple, I wanna encourage you to rate and review this podcast. Every time we get to see your comments, uh, it encourages me so much to know that the content we're putting out, like the five part series that we just concluded, that it is helping you on your journey. Thank you for the kind words that you have over on Apple. And today I want to shout out JJ Peller. JJ Peller left this comment, amazingly high value. I'm obsessed. JJ Peller, I'm obsessed too. I've listened to five episodes in the past three days. So much value. Thank you for sharing such amazing ideas and insights and strategies to help me in parentheses restart fast with YouTube as I relaunch my channel in 2022. As I relaunch my channel in 2022. Joyfully, JJ Peller. Well, JJ, I hope that this message today helped you restart that channel. I hope that you've got the conviction to get your channel going and to not stop this time, to make every single week a week that you are gonna put out a video that's gonna help people in the future. Thank you so much for being a part of our Think Media family. And I cannot wait for the upcoming content that we have for you planned for 2022. But if you want to continue this fire, you need to make sure you register for our free five-day YouTube 1K challenge. This is going to be a challenge that we're going to be doing with tens of thousands of content creators online, from brand newbies to people who have already reached a couple hundred thousand subscribers. But if you want to get started and learn how to get your first 1,000 subscribers, like what are the steps I should take? How do I pick my niche? And how do I actually get in front of the camera and start pressing record? What should I say in my videos? And then how do I release my videos? What should I be doing after that? We're covering all of that and so much more during this free five-day Tube 1K challenge. You can register right now and invite a friend over at Tube1KChallenge.com. Thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you in a future episode.